the late shift. Why did I think this would be a good video? Oh yeah, the game late shift. Sorry, not just do a late shift. Alexa, would you turn on the studio lights there, please, love? Thanks very much. You know, I'm convinced if I don't say thank you to Alexa that AI will rise up. You are welcome. I am your protector. So yeah, the game is late shift. I think this is going to be fun. So stick around for some terrible choices to ruin this high stakes FMV. I don't know what that is. Crime thriller forced into a brutal London heist. Your choices matter in this interactive cinematic experience. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do bad things and ruin the story. Luckily, it is a game because you can kind of see daylight coming over here. It wasn't actually a late shift. I was going to try and lie to you. Ooh, cinematic. Okay, new game. Choices matter. I got an achievement already. I did the first choice right. I clicked play game. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. He's using his inside voice and I can't hear it over the music. There we go. Turn that way down. I appreciate it. It's getting me amped and everything, but I don't know what I'm getting amped for because I can't hear anything. Wait, what is going on now? Where's my guy coming from? <laughs> it says no pedestrians right there. I didn't tell you to do that. God, he's making the riskiest choice of all by himself. <laughs> Lunatic. <laughs> There's two cars out. The rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. Okay, he works here. Fair enough. He wants to disobey the rules. That's fine. I'm just saying rules are there for a reason. Now, when do we get into the action of this? Because it's not all that long of a game, so it must amp up pretty quick. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. Oh, it's a romance story. With a bunch of metal bimbos. Oh, he's into cars. I've seen something like that on the Learning Channel. <laughs> I need the keys to the Maserati. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. Wait, what is going on here? This woman came back and she wants the keys to a car that's not even hers. I'm just going to give it to her. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Good boy. What's in it for me? I'll owe you one. Okay. <laughs> it's just, she's just like, I'll do you a favor if you just, you know, give me the keys to the car that's not mine. I'm like, all right, that might come in handy. I'm moving house next weekend. All right, I could use a help with the boxes. <laughs> Never mind, check CCTV. No, never mind, just give her the keys. There was a massive bang and I'm like, no, don't check it out. You're back here by one. Yes, sir. I like how I'm just giving her these orders. Like, she's not gonna fucking listen to me. What am I gonna do if she comes back later than I arrange or doesn't come back at all? <laughs> I literally have no power. <laughs> Oh my god, literally walked away for two seconds and now she's screaming help. Go there, call police. Yeah, just, no, go there, go there. Oh my god, it doesn't give you much time. Hey, go there without any weapons. I probably should have checked CCTV earlier. <laughs> what do you want from me? I want you to tie her up. Wait, I'm not getting involved in this. Or actually, no, sorry, I was thinking logically. Okay, and, and when I'm done, I'll, I'll tie myself up. <laughs> Oh my God. Wait, why are you biting me? What? Ow! <laughs> I know I'm grabbing my head. <laughs> kind of felt that one. <sighs> oh, and now he's annoyed. I've ruined everyone's day. I've pissed her off trying to tie her up. And I've pissed him off by not tying her up. Does it look like I can drive? What? Oh my God! What kind of fangs does she have to do that to his hand? Okay, I have to drive because of his injured hand. If I see him use that hand even once, I'm going to have a word with you, mister. Do I drive or run? And running is a terrible option, so run. <laughs> I gotta into the car and just run out again. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh dear, fuck! Oh no, I got away. Great! Where am I going though? No, don't walk now. It's like me tired. Oh, for feck's sake. Let me give you a ride. Don't get in into a car with a strange actually yeah it's my choice get in <laughs> really after all this today and i'm just gonna get into the car can you drop me off at south camp please mate i thought he was gonna say south korea <laughs> it's like that's off the radar they'll never find us there look you see i've been kidnapped now i have the best of both worlds i ran away and almost got shot and i still got kidnapped anyway you know the guy broke into the garage don't you no uh, this is the coincidence that i've been held at gunpoint <laughs> twice in one night <laughs> completely random Oh, he's trying to run again. That wasn't even my choice. He just tried to get out while the car was moving. Oh, he's taking me back to his house. Okay, maybe this isn't so bad after all. Maybe they just really want to play like a board game or something. Monopoly. It's hard to get people to play Monopoly with you. At least with me. I always buy all the houses and don't upgrade them to hotels so people can't buy any houses for their property. Yeah, I'm kind of a monster. Oh no, it's this guy again. Oh, he's pissed. He fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. What? Wait, hold on, can I pause it? What happened? He fell 15 feet onto a... 
When? Was that the bang earlier? I never checked the CCTV. My guy shouldn't know that. Plot hole. <laughs> I love when you just pick all the wrong options in these games because sometimes things just do not make sense. Oh my god, no, I didn't want to see that. I'm not gonna look anymore. Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get all of that, you know, Irish Pete. Oh, they're gonna try and get Irish Pete. <laughs> Never heard of him. Not everyone in Ireland knew each other. Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. <laughs> Contradict. I don't like that idea. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. <sighs> Pass me Diffinoxian and a couple of cable ties. Protest. Steal away. What? Steal away. You stay where you are. I keep trying to run. Make a suggestion. T, anyone? You need someone to help you out. And I need someone not to stick a fucking syringe in me. I don't understand what is happening here. He said I w he wasn't going to kill me. Why don't I just sit down, get tied up for the evening, and just make a night of it? <laughs> Maybe have a drink or something. Don't push your luck. I'm going to push it. <laughs> I'm taking his risk, so I want his share. Fuck off. Oh my god, I'm getting involved in this heist now. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. Grand, great, I'm in a heist. How have they just invited me in on this heist? I've tried to run from them so many times, <laughs> and now I'm like... Son of a bitch, I'm in. When I hit my desk, this thing fell off and I don't know what it is. Do you think it's important? <laughs> Probably be okay. <laughs> Although it feels a bit more wobbly. <laughs> oh no. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choi's are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. I can't believe I almost died for a fruit bowl. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime. It's a feckin' bowl, dude. I get over that. It's the start of the crime that confused me. Why did they ho hold that woman at gunpoint and, and nearly shoot at me? For, like, they nearly blew the whole heist. Thank you. Oh, it's bidding paddles. I thought we were going playing ping pong or something. I'm just desperate to do any sort of activity with someone. So, for £950,000, this marvellous 12th century... Did he win? A cabinet? Ah, Jesus. That's a rip-off. The thing's rotting apart. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Oh, no. I'm offending everyone. <laughs> this is it. This is what I almost died for. <laughs> Go up and smash it, <laughs> if that were an option. Three at the back. Three million? Are you serious? You could buy one, a bigger bowl like this size, a massive fruit bowl for like five bucks on Amazon. These people are out of touch. It's like Bill Gates guessing how much grocery shopping costs. Eight with you, sir, to your bid. Looking for nine. Oh God, they're going up to eight million. She keeps bidding and the guy is saying to stop. I'm just going to let her keep bidding. <laughs> there we go, nine million. <laughs> I'll write you an IOU. Are you out of your Ten we mind? have, we're at eight. Nah, feckin' pocket change, ten million. <laughs> ten five I have. Why are you going up above ten million? I, what are you going to do with it? <laughs> keep your keys in it? I'm selling. Oh, finally, eleven and a half. <sighs> My guy was saying how there's no chance that they'll bid higher, but I'm just going to keep going. Oh, I've pissed off everyone. 12.5 I have. Oh, thank God he went up above. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Shouldn't I need like proof that I have this money when I came in here? I just kind of walked in and I'm holding up a paddle. I don't know what's even going on in here. So to the gentleman on my right for 12 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much. Okay, he got it. Fair enough. I don't know what the point in that was. All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. What? I don't think that's part of my specialty. In fact, I don't have a specialty. Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Do I prevent? Uh, prevent the crime wave? I'm flipping sides again now. <laughs> I can warn the security guard instead of attacking him. Or I can take this lift up to a higher floor and maybe warn one of the employees. Or go up to the roof and maybe try and escape from there. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up to the roof. <laughs> My plan is to parachute off. <laughs> oh god, this is all going wrong. I think I've figured out what was happening with the bidding though. I think we're getting a cut of the sales. So she was trying to raise it up and up and up. I didn't know what was going on. I was just like, yeah, keep raising it. <laughs> Enter offices. Go downstairs. Go downstairs. I took the elevator up to take the stairs down. The lift's here and he's not in it. Where is he? Oh no, they're missing me. Oh no, <laughs> no, you were on to me, weren't you? Okay, I'll go to the basement, I'll attack the guard, sorry, I apologize. Excuse me, sir, can you help me? Of course, sir. Oh no, they're everywhere. How do they know everything I'm gonna do? Keep quiet, squeal. Hey, listen, this is... <laughs> 
<laughs> just squeal, dude. I didn't say try and like warn them or get help. I said squeal. I wanted like a re. Honestly, probably would have been the best thing to do. Just a loud re and then pretend you're having a heart attack on the floor. <laughs> oh no, what is going on here? Okay, maybe I should have gone downstairs to knock out the security guard. This guy just killed them instead. Oh, he's got the bowl. Ah, good. That'll protect it. You know, it's worth 12 million pounds, but just, just wrap it in a single layer of bubble wrap. That'll be fine. Try. Ignore. Answer. I just ignore it, sure. <laughs> okay, you enter 309220. He wrote the code on his palm. Really? If you even got slightly moist from nerves, that code would be gone. So I know I, like, betrayed you guys and all that, Um, but do I still get a cut of this, this heist? Like, I still think I deserve some money out of this. Oh no, she's speeding. All right, look, the murder and the robbery and all that I can deal with, but speeding? Really? <laughs> speak up. Yeah, speak up. Let's let's voice our opinion on this. So as far as I'm concerned, fuck you. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Every second scene. One second I'm on her side, the other side I'm against her completely. Well, we have it. Thank like, fuck for that. Just get out of it. Okay, the gang's all back together. Oof. All five of us, the best friends. <laughs> Hi, they're gonna kill me, aren't they? Let me see it. I wanna see the bowl. It's like, what makes it worth 12 million? Just keep him quiet until we get rid of this bowl. Why are they being so forgiving to me, by the way? Like, every two seconds, the other guy wants to kill me, and they're like, no keep him alive. But with the security guards, they just murdered him in cold blood. And I'm way bigger of a problem than them. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Oh my God, Jesus. See, look what happened now. I warned you. I told you speeding was unforgivable, but you didn't listen. My Ling. Why is he so distraught? <laughs> I've betrayed her like three times already. <laughs> oh my God, I think they're all dead. Luckily the bowl should be fine because we put it in that single layer of bubble wrap. I think we should get further away. And uh, you know what? I'm making bad decisions. Go, go closer, <laughs> closer to the van. <laughs> it's warm over there. <laughs> See, I told you the single layer of bubble wrap would work. Where are we going? Where are we gonna go? Mr. Woe with the police. I don't know who Mr. Woe is. We're gonna go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the guy we're selling it to. I'm back in on the heist again now. <laughs> Even she doesn't want to do the heist anymore and I'm flip-flopping all over the place. Leave her or convince her. I want to bring her. I need someone to bounce off. Come on, you're coming with me now. We're best friends again. God, I gotta say, they did well in that car crash. Not a scratch. Like, considering everyone else died. Oh no, sorry. She got a bit of an owie on her ankle. My apologies. <laughs> I didn't realize. Is Mr. Wu here? Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Oh no, we're at the wrong place. Or maybe he's just playing sly. You heard of her? Memory clearing. <laughs> Perfect. You, right here. A fortune cookie. A fortune cookie? Yeah, sure. Will I follow him? No, I want the fortune cookie. I gotta know what my fortune is. Dr. Lin. Oh, I know. <laughs> it just says you are going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're, they're all upset. Is this the same place I went to in Hitman? <laughs> if so, that was a different guy. That was the dumpling chef. There you go. There's your little bowl. Why have you brought this here? Oh, no. He doesn't like it. <laughs> I want... He wanted a bigger one. Uh-oh. Oh, no. They really don't like the bowl. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. Oh, no. I'm confused. <laughs> to the Choi family, possession of that bowl is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Oh no, why? It's not that nice. Wait, look at this one. Unbreakable cereal bowls. It's 14 pounds, 14.99. You can save 5% with a voucher. And like that could survive a car crash. It's unbreakable. Watch this shit. And look, those are some designs on them if you want to get fancy. All I'm saying is I think this was a waste of time and definitely not worth fighting a war over. Believe or disbelieve, I I'm going to disagree with this guy. I don't believe him. Then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. My guy goes from victim to heist leader so much he flip flops. Get out of my restaurant. I'm going to object. I'm not getting out of the restaurant. Fuck you. Yeah, that'll show you. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. We will not meet again. Fuck you. It's just not a nice bowl. <laughs> Honestly, that's the problem. He doesn't like it. I've done that before. I've ordered something and then it showed up and I'm like, I don't really actually like that. Take this hoodie, for example. While I think it's nice, I bought it so I could blend into the curtains. And then when I go like this, it would look like at an odd perspective, I'm behind the curtain, but it's too dark and it doesn't work but 
You don't see me complaining. Well, you do, because I just did. But I, that's because I was making an example of it. You still want to know what my fortune cookie said? Oh, no. What did it say? A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Okay, that's not as cool as I thought it would be. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are. You fucking did, didn't you? My guy is so weird. He's like so naive. As if he is the mastermind behind this plan. It was the choice that ran us off the road. I don't think it was. I think it was Orge's bad driving. He just drove into oncoming traffic. Honestly, I'd give the ball to the taxi driver in exchange for the fare at this point. Knowing London prices, it'll probably cost like 12 million anyway for a 10 minute taxi ride. So it'll all work out. Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, could you? Why is there a romance scene now? This makes no sense. I've betrayed her twice tonight. <laughs> She's like, oh, I love that. I love a man that betrays me constantly. Withdraw. It's getting us nowhere. It's believed despite the extent of the robbery, which resulted in the hospitalization of three employees. Hospitalization? No, I, I think you mean sent to the morgue. They were... They were dead. Why is the car still on fire and she's that close? How long has it been burning now? The fire truck's doing nothing as the thing just burns in the background. If the bill was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. I swear people are just way too into this bowl. A Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found early. Wait, what? They found the other guy? So he got the fortune cookie saying you are going to die. This doesn't make any sense. It's the ball, isn't it? You think it's ugly too. I didn't want to say it, but it is. Mayor. Yeah? I have some people in the reception. Shall I send them up? Someone downstairs. Oh, Jesus, someone's downstairs. I, I don't know if we should go down to them. I really don't. I mean, if you give me the options, yeah, I will. <laughs> but I just think it's a bad idea. And that's why I'm doing it. Uh, they can definitely see you there. The, your whole arm is sticking out. All right, they're going to continue. Never mind. <laughs> Wait, how did you come up here? Where Give me the ball. Don't trust her with the ball. Don't. No. I want the ball. You said it was ugly. You should have trusted me. I probably should have. Um, can I perhaps eat the ball? Then they can't kill me. Where is it? Oh, I still have it on me. Uh, you didn't find it? Where could I be hiding? Oh, I hope they don't cavity search. Yeah, idiot. Shouldn't kidnap me. I'm a heist leader. <laughs> that guy looks like he's on the verge of tears and I don't blame him. He's made so many bad decisions tonight and he's not even sure why. Look, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Oh god. Oh, don't insult the bowl. They love the bowl. The thing is, me just denying that I don't have the bowl isn't going to work because literally as they were kidnapping, the lady turned to me and went, give me the bowl. <laughs> so I obviously have it. Where is the bowl you took from the auction, not the copy you had in your pocket? Oh, okay. Okay, I legit don't know now what is going on. Oh, and he's unpacking the knives. Oh no. What have you done to her? So you meet your partnership with her? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? It's complicated, but yeah, we're partners. Oh no, they're putting this thing on me and I don't know what it is. I don't want to see it. I really don't. I, oh, I'm getting all sweaty. Thank God I didn't write any notes down on my hand. No, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl. Stop calling it a rice bowl. They don't like that at all. Fuck! The classic prisoner's dilemma. Game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mailing tells them and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Okay, so we gotta be on the same wavelength here. What would she say? Choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one, the short one. I know. Go with the long one. I, I don't even know what it is. Oh dear. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Oh, wait, hold on, but there's nothing to open. I, I don't have the bowl in my intestines. Can we not just have a conversation here? Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Protect her. Oh no, save yourself. <laughs> this is gonna come back to bite me. I'll get you the bowl. I don't understand, like, that's not gonna help them. I don't know where the bowl is. I legit have no idea. You bring us the bowl and she'll be punished. Okay, I mean, I legit just abandoned her completely and was saying, save me, save me. And then the threat is they're gonna hurt her. I don't think my guy cares. Well, he does sometimes. He keeps flip-flopping. Say nothing. They're just gonna cut her free. They're just being dramatic about it. Oh no, they actually killed her. You have six hours to bring us the ball. After that, Dr. Lowe will no longer be able to save her life. Okay, they're gonna be able to save her. That's fine. It's far. How do you know that? Because I'm the one who was caught before him. 
It was you! You counterfeited it! You betrayed me! I knew it all along, that's why I kept betraying you, that's why- No, I didn't see that coming at all. What is this? Am I gonna go clubbing? There is a street fight and the police are here. Hey! You! What? Just fight him for no reason. Smug boy looking for a fight. Yes, and I don't know why. <laughs> the police are literally behind me. <laughs> My guy's so agitated. He's just like, stop making me do stupid shit. But why didn't the police stop me? I just kind of walked away and now I've got to get another taxi. God damn it. I'm going to have to take out a mortgage on the house. <laughs> Oh no, his anger's rising. It's like the Arthur meme. He's about to sucker punch the taxi driver in the back of the head. He's got anger issues and I don't blame him. Okay, I think I'm going to the rich dude who was selling the bowl originally because I think she counterfeited it for him. An appointment with Samuel Pa? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? She just said wait here and I'm walking in. Am I gonna fight him too? Cause I think I can take him. There we go. And I have a weapon now. I'm definitely gonna beat him up. There you go. Sensibly in my study. Yeah. Okay, that, that helped. He really loves pottery. That's his weakness. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. Intimidate him or use force? I kind of want to do both, but I'll use force. He didn't use force. He just threatened to use force. Don't think you'd go that far. How far will I go? Hit him. He's just not playing ball. So I'll make him the ball <laughs> and hit him with the golf club. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking ball. Oh, God. It's here. The ball is here. Thank you. He's telling me where the ball is. The, the ball. Sorry. I'm thinking of golf. God, I want to go outside again. Things are falling off my desk at an alarming rate. <laughs> what was it this time? Oh, that doesn't look good. Another one of these things, but this time it had a screw on it. <laughs> this conversation is over. Oh God, when I was under the desk looking at what was falling off, he pulled a gun on me. Shoot him, yeah, go for it. Oh Jesus, okay. Well, that's my uh, lead. Gone. How am I supposed to find the bowl now? This is so bad. Like, what if those things were important and my desk is going to fall apart? Come here! Come here! Why am I taking the housekeeper hostage now? What? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude, I didn't tell you to do this. The bowl isn't in the safe. Where is this feckin' bowl? Go oh, fuck. Oh, he's very upset. I have a really bad feeling about where this is going. I can't seem to find the bowl. Oh, for feck's sake, who are you? Just fight it. No, oh, no, I'm getting shot up. No, 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 I don't want to die. Wait, that's my ending? The ball, you have it. Where? You think I'm going to tell you now? I'm bleeding out. You're dying, but the girl can still live. I have literally not cared about her once. I don't know why you think he cares. Fuck you. See? What a horrible ending I got. <laughs> I nearly got to the end. Decisions made 46. Oh my God, I ruined that so bad. Okay, so this is another branch of the ending I was just at. And he was gonna call the choice to him. That would have been the smart thing. Just been like, look, the old man has it. Just say that in the hotel room when she immediately said, oh, I made the counterfeit. Just turn to them and go, oh, well, mystery solved. The old man has it. Go, go get him. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> and then they'd take care of the whole thing. But instead, I bled out on his floor. Okay, they're just driving off together to get the bowl now. Oh, he's gotten it. He's got the sacred bowl. Dude, just smash it just for the laugh. Okay, so in that ending, he gets a million pounds from the old man just to not snitch on him essentially to the the choice that's a pretty good ending the fool how did i not get that ending i proved that i'm a fool give me the fucking bowl oh no and this one he gets the golf club dude he's so old just charge him report this thing in the first place <laughs> they're fighting over the golf club just punch him well maybe it should belong to no one no oh my god he just broke the thing you lunatic! Oh no! <laughs> the gentle little smack! Oh no, is he gonna die in this one too? Wait, they're waiting outside! Why didn't you come in to stop him smashing it? Why did you leave my inexperienced character deal with it? Uh, uh, is that the worst ending? I don't know which is worse. I honestly don't. No, I probably got the worst ending, right? Because the lady's still captured. She's gonna die because she doesn't know where it is. The old dude is dead. I'm dead. <laughs> 
Yeah, that, that's probably the worst ending, I suppose. What a great game, though. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. Leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.